A couple more options on the defense as well. Conical. It's a decent tag, actually. Com going to have to retreat away from here. Previously, we did see Fnatic obviously hunting down Bustio, looking to mark that man. And we're seeing an adjustment here from EG. Him all the way towards C site and a three stack here over towards A. And we know that preference from uh, Fnatic. They love this A side. They'll explore it. Yes, they pivot, but they do often try and take this space first and foremostly. The fact they posted up the likes of Demon 1 here, you've got a lot of additional bodies. And then Boosty on the other side sitting extremely deep on C. That's the first shot. That's the first blood of the grand finals. Demon 1 going to take down Chronicle and start putting Fnatic under a little bit of pressure here. They've not had that same level of success off the starting block. Well, both of them have slipped through the net. Not to be so, Boosio. Is in position to catch this, but Bosa, does he check this corner? Just on the edge of it, Bustio wins out. Okay, that's two kills on their side, and a follow up as well. Bustio takes out Leo, leaving it down to Durka and Alpha. And look at the positioning from Alpha, though. Nasty, gonna keep both these players busy. Ethan on the defuse already. He's just gonna tank the paint shot for a while, and Alpha's now gonna 1v1. Already halfway, though. Demon 1 wants to get back to business. Does he just try and sit this? No, he doesn't. He doesn't oh, get that. And Demon 1 gets up to the fuse, takes down Alpha, and that is a different start. But let's also talk about the narrative of Demon 1, right? Who has been progressively getting more and more deadly as this tournament, tournament has progressed. He's become lethal as it goes on. For now, no adjustment here. Jordan knows better than stick around before some to use our utility, but the one X factor, that one win condition we hadn't seen hitting as hard as online was this man. And he's already off to that hot start. Gonna clean up Durka here. Doesn't really take much damage either. Nothing at all. That's a good reply, though. Poster. Gonna temper some of that aggression. They do recover the Guardian and filter it back. It's not upgrade found for Fnatic. So he drifts back towards the orb outside B here. Find a sent out here, we'll catch. So attendance noted here. Alpha actually farming up towards that lockdown nice and early, just three away now. And the desk kind of brought this up as well, even the last time they met earlier in this tournament. The Fnatic are incredibly diligent and make sure every single ult is worked for, every single orb is gathered. There's no lazy rounds from them, there's always something to achieve, and they generally do it very well. There's the second example of it only in this round. But again, but even in the rounds they probably won't convert, they will make something happen. Now down to about 27 seconds, the chance of conversion is getting lower and lower. Especially with Ethan repositioning here. Still, Killjoy set up on B site as well. And Boostio. They have drifted away from the turret here. Oh, catch just before disconnected. Now it's one part. Oh, that's down, Ethan. That's an opportunity. It's the Guardian down. Boostio. Coming to the ground for a second. Spikes in. They got player advantage here. No recovered weaponry just yet. Boostio gets for the player. That's the Chronicle down. Great trade from Alpha. Hold on, check damage too. Boostio to Killjoy. Search. Heretic. And the player guy can't be one v two. Not possible for Gold. He's gonna close that gap. It's spiking me a little closer. Boostio. Sitting so deep though. Smart work from Boostio. Make him work.